Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, good day again everyone So, today now we will be discussing about the distributive property as a continuation of our previous topic pa, okay? Now, in the distributive property um, what we need to do here is I mean, the operation that we will be using here would be always multiplication po, okay? So, what do I mean by that? So, distributive property will always look like this Okay? Um for a while. Um, it's a b plus or minus c is equals to a times b plus or minus a times c. So again, ang ginagawa po natin dito may it be addition or subtraction. Okay po. Ang gagawin lang natin is if there is a number outside with no visible operation in between. So walang naalagay. Okay. Maximum wala. Okay. None. So, um, what happens here is it is actually under multiplication, meaning it distribute ko A to B and A to C. Okay po? So, ganun po yung mangyayari po dyan. Okay po? You will distribute over multiplication. So, what would happen here is ganyan. Magkakaroon ka ng multiplication. Okay? So, um, may it be addition or subtraction, it does not matter po. So, for example, I have this one. Let me, let's go to the example now. So, I have 6, 7, plus negative 2. So, what would happen here is I will distribute 6. It would become 6 times 7 plus 6 times negative 2. And evaluating this, 6 times 7 is 42. Plus 6 times negative 2, the answer is um, negative 2. And adding this, you will give you 30. That is again yung distributive property natin. Okay, ipamimigay mo lang. Okay, we are using this one even though na pwede naman natin i-add siya immediately dito sa loob. Here, even though we can add this immediately. is for us to denote lang talaga na it, whatever happens, may it be in a merong operation sa loob. Or we can do like this. This is 5 times 6. The answer would still be same. So this is very important when it comes to algebra. So even if class your ex um your given is like this seven and this is negative nine times two plus three minus um four okay po so what would happen here is it distribute mo pa rin siya okay po even though yani addition or subtraction it does not matter so it distribute mo pa rin siya so you will have negative nine times two plus copy new operation negative 9 times 3 minus negative 9 times 4 okay po, so that's, that is what would happen po, ipamimigay mo lang po siya strictly doon sa number itself, okay, and you just have to copy the number, do not copy the sign po muna, okay kasi ito baka i-consider nyo siya na sign okay po, I mean not necessarily not copy the sign, pero you just have to take the sign and then leave the operation as is po so, you will notice here, pinamigay ko si 9 3 times sa positive 2, sa positive 3, sa positive 4. The operation will retain add, add, minus, minus. Okay po? So, everything will retain. Ang mangyari lang po, pinamigay mo lang si negative 9. Okay? So, the answer here would simply be negative 18 plus um, negative, what's this? Um negative 27 minus negative 36 and simply evaluate as is so this would be uh, negative 18 plus negative 27 let me get my calculator it's negative 27 minus negative 36 the answer is negative 9 okay, po. so that is how you evaluate that Evaluate using what? Using the operations of integers po. Okay po? Sige. Um, let's have our next example. Let's try something new. Say we have um, negative 4, negative 2, minus negative 6, plus negative 9. Ano po kaya magiging sagot? Okay? So, let's pause for a while for you to uh, give your answer po. Okay? So... I, I think you're done now. So the answer would simply be negative 4 times 
negative 2 minus, let's move it a little bit, minus negative 4 times negative 6. You always take the sign po. Plus, and you leave the operation as is. Negative 4 times negative 9. Negative 4, negative 4, negative 4. Pinamigay sa negative 2, ito yan. Negative 6, ito yan. Negative 9, ito yan. And the operations are, are retained. Minus and plus. Minus and plus. Okay? So, I hope everything is clear na po regarding this one. As for the evaluation, I will leave that to you. Um, let's try to guess the, uh, let's try to um, provide the answer and I'll give you some time. And I hope you're, um, you're a little bit done okay, in evaluating this one. Okay, so let's check. Po. This is, uh, the answer here is positive 8 minus, the answer here is, um, 4 times 6, it's positive 24. And the answer here is just simply 4 times 9, it's 36. Adding these things together, 8 minus 24 plus 36, the answer is positive 20. I do hope you got positive 20. Okay, Pop? So the next one that we will be discussing is um, the last two properties. This is property number 5, which is called the additive. I mean, uh, sorry, it's called the inverse property. Okay, in the inverse property, we have two cases again. We have the addition, and then we have the multiplication. Okay, po? Now, in, ad in, uh, in the inverse property, I'll, I'm just going to tell you something. Okay? In the, ad in the additive inverse, additive inverse, and then the multiplicative, multiplicative inverse. Okay. Firstly, so additive inverse, our aim here, okay, our aim in the additive inverse is of course to get zero. Ang kailangan natin makuha is zero. Okay. And for the multiplicative inverse, our aim is to get one. Okay po. So, Ano ang gagawin lang natin dito is I'm going to ask you ano ba yung gagawin natin dun as on a specific number to get an answer of 0. Okay po? So for example po. I have 6. What will I add to 6 to give me an answer of 0? So I'll give you some seconds to do this. Okay, I hope you're done now. So for you to get 6, you need to add negative 6. Bakit? Kasi kapag nag-add ka ng number ng magkaiba ang sign, you will subtract. And 6 minus 6 is 0. Okay po? So, another example for multiplication naman. Okay, in multiplication, for me to get say, 7, what will I multiply to 7 for me to get an answer of 1? So, this one will be a little bit tricky. You will use a fraction as a clue. Okay, so I'll give you some seconds to answer this. And I hope you are done now. So, the answer here is just actually 1 over 7. Bakit po? Remember when you are multiplying fractions, it would be like this. Any whole number will have a denominator of 1. Okay. And this is of course times, of course times 1 over 7. And multiply this one is 7 over 7. And 7 divided by 7 is simply 1. Okay po? So, ganun po yung mangyayari dyan, class. So, meaning, sa additive inverse, it would look like this. To get the additive inverse of any number, you just take the number and add a negative or reverse the sign. Is equals to 0. If I have negative a, tadagdagan ko lang siya ng positive a. Whatever the number is, you just add the inverse or yung kabaligtaran ng sign niya. Now, as for the multiplicative inverse, let me just move this one. As for the multiplicative inverse, I just simply have to multiply the number to its reciprocal. Pabaligtarin mo lang. Okay, equals to 0. I am mean, sorry, equals to 1. And if I have 1 over a, I will multiply it to a to get 1. I do hope that that is clear enough kasi there's no, wala naman masyadong technicality about that. Okay po? 
So, uh, lastly, para hindi tayo masyado magtagal, let's proceed to the next one, which is called the identity. Now, in identity property, again, we will have addition and we have multiplication. Okay? So, in identity property, um, it's just like this. Ano yung idadagdag ko or multiply ko sa number so that the identity will be retained. So, pag sinabi natin yung identity, ano yung idadagdag ko doon or multiply ko doon para maging ganung number pa rin siya. Okay? So, for example, meron akong Okay, uh, example. Meron akong 7. Anong i-add ko sa 7 para ang sagot ay 7 pa rin? So, I'll give you some seconds to answer this. Quite easy. So, the answer is just simply 0. Pag nag ako ng 0 sa kahit anong number, sagot is the number itself. If I have 6 plus 0, the answer is 6. Negative 2 plus 0, the answer is... Um, sorry. The answer is still negative 2. Same goes kapag meron kang multiplication. Ano kayang gag mo multiply ko sa 7 para maging 7 pa rin yung sagot? I multiply it by 1. Okay? So, if I have 7 times 1 is 7. 6 times 1 is still 6. Negative 2 times 1 is equals to negative 2. And that is how simple added, uh, identity property is. So, meaning if I have A and I add 0, the answer is still A. And I, uh, if I have A times 1, the answer is still you have to retain, pinaka-importante yan, identity retention. Okay, sige. So, that will be the last of it, everyone. So, I do hope you got that. And if you have any questions, you can, um, of course, reach out to me. And, of course, you can go back to our video anytime that you would want. Okay, po. So thank you everyone for um, watching and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.